Welcome to Heartbeat of the Universe. And on this program, we are offering you tools to really transform your life, that you can be healthy, live in abundance, create loving relationships, and also fulfill your cosmic purpose. And today we have a beautiful guest who's joining us. His name is Zoran, and I am Mary Lou Hula, spiritual leader of a spiritual center in Tarpon Springs, Florida called NBOC, New Beginning Oneness Center. You can find us on the web. And today we're gonna to talk to Zorn about bioenergy healing. He is a world-renowned bioenergy healer. He's also a teacher, an author, he's uh, a world-renowned cinematographer. So today I wanna to ask you, Zorn, well, you created a film in 2004 called Think About It, and it was about energy healing. How did that change your life? Uh, totally. <laughs> it is, um, I um, always, thought that art can change somebody's life. Now film is a little less serious art, in, at least in America. But I still believe that the film can change your life, except sometimes you may have to make it yourself, like what happened to me when I did the film, which was uh, sort of a, a going away from my uh, normal work. I used to shot, shoot uh, feature films, in uh, mostly in Hollywood. And uh, when I moved to Slovenia in 2001, I had a lot of time, so I said, let me do something, and together with my wife, Stephanie, she's a, she's a director, uh, let's do something that uh, we will not have a boss, that mm -hmm. we can do the way we want to do it. And uh, so we were looking for things and uh, found Bioenergy Healing, and it was so fascinating that once I learned about it enough to make a film, it totally changed my life. It's what I call the responsibility of knowledge. Because once you know something, and you know if you learned and you didn't change, you didn't learn. Right. So I learned and it changed me. Because you know, no knowledge is only knowledge when, it's, uh, <clears throat> when it becomes a personal first-hand experience. Right. So that's, you know, I started using this, uh, you know, bioenergy healing, which is a hands-on uh, modality. Uh, laying on of hands. So once I learned that and I saw results, I just said, well, I, how can I not do this? Mm -hmm. So literally, I, of course gradually, but uh, I just dropped the films and started doing this because this was first of all much more uh, rewarding. Mm -hmm. When you make a good film, and I've done you know, 50 films and so some of them, are like about five, were really good. The rest is, you know, uh, bought my house and bought my, you know, boat. But then the they are what they are for 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 a certain you know purpose only it's usually entertainment so i like documentaries even when i was before doing documentaries i liked them because you learn things right and as you learn well it changes you so uh the responsibility of knowledge made me actually start doing this and the reward is much bigger when you even if you help one person right. uh, it is something that uh, comes back to you in a co total different way than the success in film right. in success in film you make another film you get another job you get mm -hmm. uh, more money or something but it's not doesn't compare to when you do something for somebody's health mm -hmm. and uh, you know maybe save a life or right. uh, or make a life better mm -hmm. so. and think about it went on national TV all over Europe and and it really had a great response so let me ask you, in that documentary, Zoran, did you interview many kinds of healing modalities? Well, you know, in the beginning I wanted to, and uh, I did, I started, uh, shot that for about over a year, and I shot all kinds of uh, modalities and stuff, and I saw, this was uh, the time of, uh, you know, Discovery Channel just coming to be, and a lot of uh, documentaries are being done in a new way till it very fast turned into a formula. So you have to look, to, you know, documentaries and journalism are different things. And documentaries today are turned into journalism. And now it can be good or it can be bad, but it, it always is like you have to give both sides. Right. It's not what I'm interested in. I'm telling you this is good. Right. I'm not asking you, I'm not giving you a choice. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you a choice. I'm trying to make people think differently. Right. The film is about a different way of thinking and approaching uh, health or healthcare not illness. See, there's right. a difference. I don't want to uh, differently approach the illness. Illness is bad. Illness is a lack of health. 
Exactly. Uh, illness is a lack of well-being. And this is where we don't heal because we don't think of well-being. We think of our whatever we, we give put our, away. We put our attention on and, the dis-ease, don't we? Exactly. Yes. And awareness will bring the manifestation. And then it exactly. gets worse and worse. Nobody talks about good. Right. And on TV <laughs> today, on TV today, after every program, they're talking about illness, aren't they? And medications. And so we're really, we have been compelled to focus on the illness and what you're focusing on is health isn't it and well-being what we really are our innate our innate heredity is health yes our natural state is a state yes. of well-being yes and we are self-healing machines i mean machines or whatever that sounds bad but uh, self-healing beings like like everything in nature nature is self-healing we forget that we are a part of that big universe that nature divine whatever you want to call it so this is why we get sick in the first place because we alienate ourselves from that, from where we are, what oh, we are. Right. So <clears throat> we may do that because we're told to do that. Maybe we just are, you know, conditioned. Uh, on purpose or not, it doesn't, this is not a political issue here. This is not what, you know, why, you know, conspiracies and they want us to be sick because of, that doesn't matter. Right. They, what matters is that we're so silly that we let ourselves be changed. And I can't change you. I can always change myself. So exactly. change yourself. That's the whole thing. And we're, we allow that to be our focus, and we know that we're frequency, so where our energy goes is what we're is connecting out there and bringing it back into exactly. our lives. Whatever so you I, put out comes back I love in. your approach, because what your approach is is really the solution, that our wellness, our, our innate beingness that is whole health. And I also so agree with you, you know, connecting back to nature right now is so important. I think that you know Mother Earth is really uh, accelerating, and if we connect back to nature, we really get in harmony with that acceleration of frequencies and what's happening on our planet right now. Yeah, we just you know we don't um, look how we live in yes. these buildings. I mean, I, you can't go back to be a right. hunter and gatherer and stuff like that. I mean, right. you know, I'd be gathering all kinds of stuff. I mean, who knows? <laughs> you know? But uh, uh, you know, we 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 just alienated from ourselves. Right. And we let that happen, and we even, you know, there's a great books about it, and great uh, that people uh, read that, and but they don't learn. Right. Well, grounding. You know, <coughs> I've studied grounding lately, and how how healing it is to walk, you know, on the earth barefooted, and and even to bury your feet in the sand, your yourself in the dirt. You know, we're always at we're at theme parks, or we're at malls, or we're at all of these places where semen yeah. are, and we have rubber shoes on. So what you're saying is connecting back to nature is a real important part. But we see we, we started wearing shoes, you know, rubber shoes, you know, in the seventies with Nikes or whatever and walking shoes, running shoes, sitting shoes, every kind of shoe you have. Right. And it's all because it was scientifically developed for walking, sitting or whatever we do in those shoes. But it's totally insulating us from the from the earth. Then you sleep, which is on a bed and you're horizontal and off the ground. So we're totally not connected to the earth. And but, see, now the earthing is coming back and people are talking about it because somebody scientifically, you know, decided that, you know, we are positively uh, at the, whatever it was, charged and the earth is negative or the other way around right. and when we touch and we, uh, you know, develop, I mean, that balance. Why do we need an electro engineer telling us that? Exactly. Why don't we walk around? Uh, right. barefoot. Right. Well, you know, in Canada it's hard in the winter, but you know, you can yes. do other things yes. with that. No, yes. we just we just don't uh, uh, we just don't think. But I think we're hearing that call. I think all of us, those of us that are awakening up around the world, are really hear, hearing that call to come back to nature. I know I am personally, True. and I know a lot of people in New Beginning are hearing that call. Well, I wanted to ask you, you call it your modality, pure bioenergy <coughs> healing. Can you explain to us exactly, Zorn, what that is? Yeah, it's actually very simple. It's what it's, it's back to nature. Beautiful. See, bioenergy has its healing properties naturally in itself. It is a it is a healing property. It is information. So when we make sure that there's no additives to it, so it's pure, then it keeps that healing mm. property. So there's no, additives. What are additives? Those are conditioning. That's cultural, political, uh, uh, medical, uh, social uh, conditioning, and right. that's what that's why it doesn't work. I mean, it works much less. So when you remove those conditionings, those 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 things, that, which is normally in our in our case, it's it's our thoughts. So when you remove that conditioning, then 
the biology has a much easier job because the biology has the information of your well-being. It's mm -hmm. not about, you know, I do anything to you. I mean, who am I? I mean, of course, I'm Zoran. Uh, <laughs> no, that means dawn. That means uh, uh, sunrise. That. Yeah. Sunrise. Yes. Good morning. Light. Good morning. Energy. Right. Exactly. Beautiful. So it's the, I don't do anything. What I know how to do is to take it from the environment and put it into you. And then everything else happens automatically. If I don't add any of my conditioning, any of my additives, any of my caca to it. Right. So you wanna well, how do you do bypass people's conditioning? I mean, because we are also conditioned. We are totally conditioned. Totally con conditioned. You, know, we are, uh, you have to fight just, you know, all the time. See, people, uh, now it's very much in, of course, the healing is in, but now the latest trend is the watch what you think, I mean, which is right. what we've been saying for, you know, years. But, and everybody was saying, for millennia, I mean, this is very important, but what does that mean, watch what you think? What does it mean? Well. Whatever you do, whatever you think is what you do. Whatever you do creates habits. Habits are creating, you know, your character, and character is your destiny. So right. with every thought, you are three, maximum four, but basically three steps from your destiny. So now that's why wow. it's important. Now, that awareness, if you are told and you believe that some specific illness is uh, non-reversible, it's like incurable, then that's what you think. Exactly. And that's what your destiny. Yeah. You will not heal. It's just like aging, isn't it? You know, we've been so conditioned that we, our bodies are going to, you know, get old and age and even death. You know, we talk about it in New Beginning that, you know, even the Bible says, yea, that we walk through a shadow of death. So it's not really a reality. But we're coming into being really new, empowered human beings. We're going back to our divine source. I don't know what this camera sees, but I mean, do you notice 25? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah, no, yes. no, no. I'm, uh, I'm very ancient, but I had a you know tough life. That's why I look like that. But anyway, it's uh, yeah, you're right. It's we. It's all the belief. If we, we don't believe that we're gonna die. We know we're gonna die. Yes. If you knew you were not gonna die as strongly as you know that you will. Maybe you wouldn't die. I, I, I probably I, wouldn't. Listen, we teach that at New Beginning because I think that's exactly what all of the masters really talked about. You know, we exactly. can lay our bodies down and pick them up at will. Well, so what are some of the so-called incurable diseases that you have worked with bi with bioenergy that you've seen, seen really okay. amazing results? Yeah, you know, every condition, every condition is reversible. I love because, that. Because you will reverse it. But, you know, so now let's get back into the, you know, today. Uh, we have what we call immune system, yes. which can be an aura and your energy body or your whatever, you know, science understands this little bit, but it understands more and more. And we know that the immune system is that healer in us that keeps us healthy, or if we get ill, that brings us back into balance. Right. So anything and everything that is connected to the immune system that we acquire, that is reversible. If you were born with a defect, as in, you know, you don't have an arm, that's, I'm working on it, but I still don't know how to grow it back for you. But if anything else that you get, the immune system, you know, will put it back. Now, when we are ill, then we, of course, we get a little weaker because all the energy is being used to fix that. And then we, it's harder to get, you know, in a, back to normal. So this is why you need a healer to add that. You, right. We all use this all the time. We all use the energy every single minute we are alive. Right. So it's just that we don't know that either. We don't, we're, we're told that we, I don't know why, why do you think we live? Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know, because your mama told you. Right. It's, it's not, you know. So this is where, if anything that is supposed to be healthy, which we are, we know that, then it can be healthy. Right. So the immune system or, you know, whatever the energy, system that we are. I mean, we talk about energy bodies, we talk about physical body. it's all the same. Matter is energy. So there right. is no distinction. And we talk about now, slowly started talking about, you know, uh, body-mind, because mind is a part of you. Right. So, but now, body-mind. And then we talk about, you know, holistic healers, that everything is holistic. It cannot be if it's natural. So the main thing is that we understand that, that bioenergy, or chi, or ki, or prana, it's the same thing, is only uh, working uh, according to the laws of nature. 
or universe or divine or God or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But that's the only, there's no uh, quantum physics or Newtonian physics or biology or chemistry, the rules of that or the rules of math. No, rules of nature. If that is a part of nature, then it will work according to those laws. So this is why it works on everything and anything. Why doesn't it work? It works 100%. Why not on 100% of people? Because of their conditioning. Right. So the thoughts. It's, it's the thoughts. So mm -hmm. the conditioning is really the thoughts. That's why we, you know, I have a, uh, a kind of a specific way of teaching this. And uh, you know, I'm, I, some people may not like it, but I'm funny. I mean, you know, I, don't know. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I say things that they never <laughs> expected in the seminar about uh, healing. They want to know about diseases and stuff. That's not what I do. I'm not a doctor. So I think we have to rock this world of energy healing a little bit, you know, shake it up yes. with it because yes. it's now so popular, yet everybody's trying to be just like the other guy. Right. And there are this conditioning about how you do business, how or how you do spirituality. How do you do spiritual? You're a spirit. So anything you do is spiritual. Right. Whether you're aware of it or not, whether you being unpleasant or not, that's a different thing. Right. But we have to, you know, we I I always, you know, when see to describe how I remove myself, and how you as a healer should remove yourself. I say, go to the beach mm -hmm. in your head. They go to the beach. Think of mojitos, think of margaritas. <laughs> My God, how can a healer talk about alcohol? That's a conditioning too. Right. Why are we afraid of everything? Right. Let's talk about good, let's talk about health, not, not about Major illness. Major on that, exactly. exactly. So I, to me, you know, beach, Sailboats, right. ocean, palm trees, that's to me is the, the mm -hmm. my safe place, my, my, my happy place. So that's why, you know, find your own and go there. And you get, that's how you get yourself out of the way. Exactly. When you're working on somebody. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to be morose about it. Right. Because, you know, their problem may be tragic and may be very, you know, painful even. But I rejoice, not because they're pain, painful, but it's because I have a solution. Right. It's not about a problem. It's a problem's already there. What you don't have is a solution. So, and bioenergy, chi, ki, prana, whatever you want to call it, has that, it is that. Beautiful. So that, it's as simple as that. And it's been, I mean, I didn't make this up. I mean, I didn't invent this. Right. This has been the, I didn't invent the universe. I, well, you were probably I, part of it. Maybe we were part of it. Maybe I, may, <laughs> maybe. maybe we were part of it. Maybe, maybe we were part of it. Well, let me ask you this. What diseases have you seen that, like I said, medical science calls so many things, um, you know, hopeless and incurable. What what things have you seen that have been named that uh, people have, have been healed from? Oh, you know, my least favorite cancer because yes. it's such a stigma about it. Right. But then, you know, uh, MS, Parkinson's, all wow. kind of uh, neuromuscular conditions. Um, you know, not, look, it doesn't work on common cold because that's not a disease. Oh, that's right. your immune system adjusting to the new whatever it's learning it's working never heard that one before but the uh, everything that as I said as, as that you acquire and your immune system didn't didn't uh, uh, act uh, or react correctly see this is or say people talk about autoimmune what is autoimmune your immune system either is working correctly or it's not working correctly right. that's it see we have because we don't approach the problem a cure or a treatment for high blood pressure and low blood pressure is exactly the same. Because we don't address your high blood pressure. We address the health of your heart. Beautiful. So then, if, and that goes for everything now. Is it, is it uh, MS, is it Parkinson's, is it stroke, is it whatever. And w why is immune system sometimes working not right? Because it's misinformed. Be our cells, our bodies are like, are like society. When we're misinformed, oh, we that. do silly stuff. Yes. I mean, we go and you know eat cells that were not uh, guilty of anything. I mean, I can give you examples, but I don't want to do that. But we go, you know, the government is like the the mind. The the, the, the somebody is directing it. Right. When it's actually right. your heart. Yes. So, yeah. because see, your brain is connected to the rational world, to the five senses that explains to me and to everybody else what is going on. Right. And then my brain interprets that. See, the heart, on the other hand, is connected to your subconscious, to your soul. Mm -hmm. And it's not getting information from the, from the media, from your mother, from your thoughts, from your feelings, from your emotions, from your, your, your sad, your whatever. The heart gets the real information from what is true, from, the, you know, from your liver that is doing what liver does. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, we, but we gave so much 
power to, to the mind. And don't get me wrong, I mean, you can't live without your mind. I mean, right. you know, that ego self, that's also part of you. You can't, like, just forget that. But you should not give it such a um, um, monopoly of, 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 of running your, your, your body and your soul. So, mind, body, think of that. And you can hear it in every, in every magazine to talk about that, but what, what does that really mean? People don't really use that. Right. And you know what? We've lived as such victims. I had dinner last night with a friend of mine that's a heart surgeon. And I, you know, was trying to approach it that it's our thoughts. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, we come in with, you know, all of these genes and he has all of these health well, problems. Yeah, oh, genes. Yeah. Genes. Good. Yeah. And he has all these health problems. And I was trying to tell him, you know, if we change our thoughts, we can change our bodies, but you know, medical schools aren't teaching what you're teaching, Zora. No, uh, they're not. They're and, uh, victimizing people. We still are held in uh, in this victim mentality. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of doctors actually coming to my seminars. Wow. There are people from NASA coming. There's people awesome. that are all So this is people understand that there's something is missing. Right. And uh, a lot of doctors know. I mean, there's you know, come on, not, not all the doctors are bad, you know. Oh uh, no. But what's bad is when you know that something doesn't work, you're just still doing it. Yes. So you didn't learn anything. Yeah. If you know that pills doesn't work, if you know they're now talking about maybe in cancer we should support the immune system. Yeah, right. Instead so of gonna, killing it with yeah, chemotherapy. So how, so how, chemotherapy. How, are they gonna, how are they going to explain this to? Right. And how are they going to go into the new? Well, sorry guys, we just killed you know seven million people, but it's okay. We now, yeah. but now we think we have it. Yes. Yes. So you yes. know. And I and I think each one of us are really responsible, aren't we? To to wake up and, and, and look into these things. You know, we used to just trust doctors and trust the political system and trust school systems. And now, we all, especially young people, they're really waking up and they're beginning to look into like um, vaccinations and things like that. They're investigating those things and seeing that those things haven't really always been for our betterment. But you see, this is, if you come to healing, to me, uh, it's, you have to come to me. Right. It's your condition. It's your responsibility. Exactly. You heal. But only body can heal itself. Yes. I cannot heal your body, but your yeah. body can heal itself. And sometimes it doesn't because of whatever reasons. But it's your responsibility. I cannot. It's like you know, how long does it take? I don't know. It depends on you. Yeah. So it is always. You see, the, we are used to this externalization of of solution. Somebody will come and fix it. Nobody will, well, they will fix the road maybe, but they will not <laughs> fix you or me or right. our body or our... Have to know, take health. responsibility, don't that's we? That's correct. It's really learning it's, that. That's, and this is what is happening now in the world. That people start questioning things because they say, you know what? They're not doing it right for us, so maybe we should look into it. And they are, but there's a long ways to go. But, you know, things go faster and faster every day. So. But I think a lot of the spiritual teachers out there are telling us, you know, that we are the sum total of all of our beliefs. I mean, we're really creators of our lives. So until we take full responsibility for everything that's going on in our life, we can't find solutions. And I think that's really where we are right and now. And solution is inside of you. Totally. It's totally within. Absolutely. You know, like happiness doesn't come from outside. Some pleasure, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you. You talk about a four-day uh, healing session. How does how does that work, Zorn? And I know you just had a class teaching other people these techniques that you do. But first of all, tell me about that four-day healing session. See, the, it, it, uh, four days is considered one therapy because the body needs to catch up with the, you know, the, this physical, you know, the dumb body, the, the first body that we have, then we have other uh, energy bodies. It's all energy anyway. But this is, and also that, that body is the most, most uh, conditioned. So we need some time to get it. Plus then, when we do this, you know, the biochemical uh, processes still have to happen. If you have an MS and you have your mylar sheets or, you know, there's lesions there and stuff, that will regenerate. Nerves will regenerate. Brain will regenerate. But it has, it doesn't happen like this. So it takes, the, you know, besides when you are repeating things, it, uh, uh, you know, you get it more. You know, you get, uh, uh, it's easier to get results. Now there's, of course, it's much too much for the show. There's no why for, why the, uh, the, the, the material, uh, um, we are, we are working with the energy, but the, the problem we have is on a material level in our dimension. So we have to, the manifestations on the material level happen, you know, in the root chakra, the number four, the blah, blah, blah. So it's right. all is actually connected and it's all explainable. It's just that 
uh, that is easier to explain in that energy way, in a spiritual way, than it is in a scientific way, uh, because, you know, I'm not a scientist, and I don't want to be a scientist, but any scientist can come and study this. They don't. They will say, well, explain to me. How is this, you know, prove it scientifically? I don't have to prove anything. That's right. I, I'm not a scientist. I don't want to prove anything. The proof is in the results. Exactly. And results are, or they're not. I would say our results are about high 90s. And, uh, it's not, it, and if they're not 100%, it's because it wasn't enough. They, they just needed more. And there's some conditioning that's holding that 10% back from exactly. really manifesting yeah. in yeah. this realm, yeah. right? Yeah, if they don't come back, if they didn't, you know, because miracle didn't happen in four days, then they sometimes don't come right. back. There's no miracles. You know, miracles are the, uh, you know, Primitive people that don't have an explanation for something, then they call it a miracle. Right. So right. it's like, what's, what's a miracle? They're not miracles. And you have a healing center in Sarasota. You just opened one in Boca Raton, and you have one in London. So you're really teaching this technique all over the world. And I know you just had a class in Sarasota, because some of I my just, friends yeah. attended, and I heard it was really phenomenal. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how often do you teach, uh, share this? Well, let's say I have about... 10 to 12 seminars a year, mm -hmm. but they're all over the world. So, you know, wow. we have West Coast, East Coast, we go to Europe, I have, uh, you know, three or four, uh, at least uh, a year in London. Um, I'm working on South Africa now. Beautiful. Uh, and, uh, uh, next year we're going to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is, uh, uh, it's it's going, it's slowly going, but, um, you know, it, it, it is not that easy. I can't, I can't just fly around. And if I want to be a healer, I need to be somewhere for four days. Right. <laughs> so I can give you therapy. Right. And, uh, so, but, you know, our base is in Sarasota because that's where we live in Siesta Key because it's a beautiful beach. I told beautiful. you, beach, beach is important. Yes, you know? yes. So. And let me ask you, if people wanted to get a hold of you, can you give us your website, which we're going to have on the screen too, but get, give your website, It's www.purebioenergy.com simple as that. Yes. Uh, there's some others, you know, that they're all connected. So once this is the easiest to, to remember, once you get there, you will um, be able to connect to uh, me as a healer or me as a teacher and anything like and that. And you do, you do um, distance healing too, don't you? Yeah, this, can this, this can be done in one-on-one. -on -one. You can come privately to my office, just the key, wow, beautiful. And uh, you can do it in a group. But when you're doing it in the group, it's the same treatment. It's still one-on-one -on -one treatment. It's not that it's not a group healing. It's, right. it's it's you come and I work on you, but other people are present. And and other um, for real group therapy, other therapists have to be present. So that group dynamic that happens because of that, the witnessing, the whole thing, it it's faster and easier for us to get results you know, in, in 15 minutes as opposed to 30 minutes. And also for you, when you watch that, it's, it's, it's stronger. Again, come to the class and I'll explain that. Yes. <laughs> but yes. this is so it can be done one-on-one, -on -one, privately, one-on-one -on -one in a group, that's what we call the group event, and we can do it long distance. That's always just so. So, that, so if anybody group. was looking for healing, they can get on your website and get your phone number, yeah. your email, yeah. and contact Zorn for healing. I, I want to just give a little testimony. You were up here uh, a couple of months ago and visited me, and I have had this sciatica in my left leg. So, yeah. And Zorn wor worked on me, and do you know I the pain is totally gone? I have to say that that is the truth. I couldn't sleep at night because I'd lie down and it was pushing on a muscle or something, but the pain is gone. And now that, imagine what would happen if you had it four days. Well, next we just had a 25 percent of a therapy. <laughs> we, and did. we did, but I am going to take your healing class next time because I, I you know, we, we're really learning. Everything is frequency, isn't it, Zorn? So if we learn to, to really harmonize our frequency with source. And even, let me correct you, I mean, you, you, everything is correct what you're saying, but in terms of healing, I mean, yes, if we harmonize ourselves with the source, then we will be vibrating with a healthy frequency. Right. So if you can't, then I will give you that healthy frequency and your body will understand this communication, your body will react to that right. in the right way. But it's not, see, you cannot, do what I teach, you cannot do on yourself. But okay. you can try to align yourself with the source. Exactly. And that's what we all should be doing anyway. Right. And that's what we're moving towards. You know, we're moving towards, you know, once we're, we really are our own healers ultimately totally. and so once we really get in harmony with that divine source energy and our thoughts are all pure like you know the virgin we'll be able to birth the christ we'll be able to birth that whole perfect 
entity that we are. I know, but see, our thoughts are not pure because they're right. conditioned. Because right. we don't think with our own heads. Right. We think with somebody else's with heads. With that corporate Any mind political, um, religious, whatever. It is, you know, conditioning. Right. And uh, in terms of the truth, every conditioning is bad because the truth is, whether you believe it or not, it just is. Right. But you have to experience it by yourself to know that it's the truth. And, and so if you don't, the truth still is. I agree. I've always said we really can't know God. We have to be God. Isn't that the truth? We have to experience exactly. that exactly. to really now, understand it. That may be it. Bla blasphemy for somebody, but yes, oh, it's true. absolutely. That's true. I totally agree yeah. with yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you, um, is there anything else you would like to tell our viewers about your bioenergy healing or what you're doing in Sarasota. We are just so grateful for you coming up today. And, I, and I so honor what you're doing because I, you are helping so many people around the globe. But you, what I want to say maybe is like that, that the, I do what I do, okay, fine. I mean, anybody can do it, really. The point is that the difference, the, the, I'm sure there's better healers than I have. I mean, probably about 700,000, but that's not the point. The point is that I can teach you this, and then you can, you will not become as good as I am unless you try very hard. But you can, I'm just kidding. Of <laughs> yeah. course, the thing is, you know, they, they have this, there's huge, wonderful healers that do wonderful stuff. The point is, you don't know how to do it. I don't know either. But this is so simplified, and because it's not, you have to remove yourself. It's possible for everyone to have these great results. Yes. And that's what happens, but only if you do it the right way. Right. As soon as you start, you know, uh, adding little caca to it, and in, in, with best intention, mm -hmm. then it's you know, the so hardest is for me to um, get the people to make space in their brain for this to keep it separate from the other knowledge. Because whatever you know, you know that's an asset. I mean, well, you shouldn't be throwing things away that you learned somewhere or you thought you learned. That's fine. Just make sure that this doesn't affect, you know, your right. healing or your other thinking. So right. you know, we, we we're exposed to everything all the time anyway. So you can't, you know, walk around without, you know, with closed eyes and closed ears. Right. Because then there's a smell too. And so <laughs> it's you know you can't uh, avoid that. You just right. have to be. Uh, you need a little help to be a little smarter. Right. Well, I think humanity, we're waking up. You know, we really are waking up, so. and that's what we're seeing, which is so wonderful, that we are created to have healthy lives, you know, healthy relationships, abundance. We, we've been fed all of these things, and to really fulfill our destiny and our purpose. So what our heart and heartbeat of the universe is, is to really give you these tools and, and to bring people like Zoran on that are really making a difference. And you know, I think Zoran, what I love about you is you come from that place is how can I serve? And I think that's the place we all have to come from. It's so simple. You don't have to be, um, you know, when you want to serve, you know, you only grow when you work for others. Right. There's no way, you know, this self-help, self this, self-growth, this doesn't work because it's ego-oriented. Exactly. You know, it's just you want to be in control of things. That's the, what everything is.